Uh, if you've clicked on this video, I assume you know what's going on, um, but I figured I'd do more of an explainer. Um, but my YouTube account was hacked. All my videos were, I believe, privated, not deleted. Um, and right now, or at least last night, I haven't checked, I believe that my account has just been taken down temporarily. Um, last night they had a live stream with Elon Musk. Uh, I don't think like Elon Musk is associated, but they were fucking shilling crypto on my account and I don't know what I did to deserve this. <laughs> It's against everything I stand for, but whatever, whatever, it's fine. The account's been like temporarily, oops, temporarily shut down for now, so that's not going on anymore. But last night when I looked at the live stream, there were six and a half thousand people in there, um, which I hate. Um, and I really hope no one actually went and like bought Bitcoin off of it, but I'm pretty sure everyone like, it's not like they were like, oh, Alice Christiansen is, has a Bitcoin coin live stream going on like I guess I'll go in and invest I'm pretty sure most people immediately were like she got hacked but regardless I hate it it's awful um, to have someone just like absolutely take over something um, I will explain what happened start to finish um, in the hopes that maybe other creators will be warned um, about this because I'm not dumb but I did some things now looking back that weren't too smart um but yeah so this is what happened a company that supposedly was putting out this new um software with a library of samples and loops reached out to me about promoting it I asked them questions and they had all the information that seemed like it was a real thing. Like they gave me the info they wanted me to say over a screen recording of me using the software and place that before uh, a cover. This software didn't work. When they sent me the GitHub link and I was downloading it, the software didn't work. And I had to email back and forth with them several times because I wasn't able to get it to open. I probably would have been like, fuck these people. I don't know what they have going on, but it's clearly a mess and I just don't want to have anything to do with it. But I, it didn't seem that fishy because I just, they were like, we're working, we're still working on it. The release date is April 19th or something. Um, so I thought that everything was at least somewhat above board. Um, so we went back and forth several times. I downloaded the software several times, but I have a MacBook and I think that they have a fair amount of kind of malware protection on them and it wasn't able to do what they wanted to do. Um, so eventually the way they got me is uh, they said, well, I guess the software is not quite ready for Mac yet. Would you be able to download Windows parallel or parallels and then run Windows on your Mac computer? Um, and I was like, I guess, and I did that. When I downloaded the stuff again, it asked for, um, like a crypto key, which is insane. That when I saw that it, I don't know if it's a crypto key or like a password, but I got a pop-up asking for information about a crypto wallet. Um, and I sent a screenshot back to them and I was like, what is this? And they said, well, we're gonna allow crypto payments on the platform as well. Um, because that made me suspicious, but then they had an answer for me. So I was like, okay. And went back and forth, went back and forth. I had downloaded Windows Parallel. Finally, I had it all ready and I downloaded it, still didn't work. They explained to me that because the software was new and it wasn't out yet, it had to know that it was me who was opening it um, or else it just wouldn't work because there was like a password on it or it. And I, I've, I'm aware of this stuff, like of things being sent with certain protections on them so that only um, the person meant to see it can see it. But so I, it didn't come off as that weird to me. 
Um, and they didn't bring up logging into my Google account until the last message before this all went down. Um, that should have been a red flag, but essentially what they said, the last me message before they hacked my account was that um, uh, it had to know that it was me so if I could log into my Google account on, on Microsoft Edge and then download the file, then it would be able to open for me. The file, file was malware. It took my session token, which is essentially the the like mechanism that allows you to go back into YouTube without having to log back in every time. It like remembers. Um, I don't know, but I do think that if I had been logged in, if I'd used another browser that I had a bunch of stuff on, like a bunch of bookmarks, I was logged into bank accounts, that kind of stuff, they could have hypothetically taken all of that. Um, but because I had never run Parallels before or Microsoft Edge, I didn't, I hadn't used it for anything. Um, by the sounds of it, these guys are really just looking for channels. Um, it's not like they're trying to get into your bank information. Out of an abundance of caution, I did freeze all my accounts um, for a period of time. Like five to 10 minutes after I downloaded the software and logged into Google, I got a text and it said account notification, the password for your Google account was recently changed. And I knew, I knew in that moment that I had been had. I knew it and then it was like also clear to me. And so I immediately go and try to log in and I can't. Um, they've removed all of my two-factor authentication things. So now the only way to get in is to have like a security key, which I don't have. Obviously they have it. Um, so after all this happened, I posted that video, that reel on Instagram, like I like didn't know what to do. So I just put my phone up on the window and recorded it. And so many people came out and were so sweet. I didn't expect, like I was just panicking. Um, and a lot of people actually came out of the woodwork and offered to help, which was really lovely. Um, I had one person who came out of the woodwork, offered to help, and then claimed they were bombarded by requests like this and wanted hundreds of dollars to get it done. That person can rot in hell. I literally was worried about my entire account being deleted and I took a call with someone who's trying to upsell me fucking PR services and charge me to get my account back when it, I know that it's not, this is not, you just have to know someone. Um, but luckily I know people who know people. So hopefully in a couple days, my account will be back up. Um, but this has been a learning experience. Um, after this, I'm, once I get my account back, I'm going to set up some pretty major, um, security things on it. Uh, because I guess I need more than two factor authentication. Um, but to wrap this all up, uh, do not open any file from anyone that you don't know. Um, even if they're a sponsorship, um, and if anything is looking funky, it probably is. So I hope that I will have my account back in a few days. I should, I should get my videos back as well. By the sounds of it, they were privated and not deleted. These people are not like malicious. They just want to make a quick buck by like, doing some crypto scam. So it's not like they went in and like fucking deleted everything. Let's ruin this girl's life. They just really wanted to take over and make a live stream, which is, it's so dumb, but it wasn't personal. And hopefully I'll get everything back. Thank you to everyone who <laughs> offered to help. Um, it was really lovely to get all the messages of support. Um, but let this be a lesson. I'm gonna put more shit on Spotify. YouTube needs to up its security. Actually, not you. Google in general. Um, Google's security in general is appalling. It's so disappointing. And it's why I don't use Google products um, if I can help it. Uh, I don't use Chrome. I use Firefox. I have a password manager. Um, all my passwords are gibberish, so they can't be guessed. Um, I did a lot of stuff before this that I hoped would make me less susceptible. Um, but they'll get ya. They will. Uh, but anyway, 
I'm still working on more vlogs for this channel. We're gonna be in Maine in a little over a month, and then I'll have so much to vlog about there, but I'll do a couple more before we leave. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking around, um, and like really just showing up in droves when I, when I needed it. Um, I like forget that uh, the people, like I know I put videos in on the internet, but I forget that like people watch them and want to have access to them and that like this was bothering other people too and not just me. Um, my camera is overheating and it just shut off, but um, thank you. I will be posting more, more on Spotify because um, last time I checked Spotify's don't usually get hacked. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna put up some original stuff soon.